Thank you, Rory. You showed such a sensitive and important experience with us. Acceptance while keeping space for hope is extremely challenging, but extraordinary things can and do happen. I will be sharing the case study of a family who has found with some of the most critical and scientific minds. After a family wedding, a car with three generations of travelling home, grandparents, parents and a grandchildren, in total of seven people. The car was in a terrible accident. Within moments their lives had been being completely uprooted. When the paramedics arrived, they believed that no one would have survived, but there were no casualties. Only the youngest was unscathed. Everyone else had suffered some injury and was scattered through the hospital. Broken jaws, collarbones, nerve damage, and loss of limb use. But one member of the family's life lay in a balance. She was in a coma. The consultant said that she would probably, that she probably wasn't going to make it. And even if she did, she would probably be paralysed and or brain damaged due to the impact. Her husband said he didn't know what came over him, but he said to the doctor, there is a bigger doctor up there, and she will wake in 10 days. With so many members of one family severely injured, the news of the tragedy travelled quickly in the community and people gathered in their homes and in their workplaces and in their temples and they prayed. The desperation of the situation encouraged a diverse community to unify in the face of the imminent death and pray a collective prayer of hope. Her husband said she felt said he felt that there was an aura of prayer and his wife awoke on the tenth day. From that point on, she continued to heal with prayer and the support of a professional rehabilitation team. On her last visit to the consultation, after doing all the checks and tests, he told them, I don't believe in God or miracles, but there is something out there as I am unable to explain your wife's full recovery. All of the family members took support of many professionals and the community to heal further than they could ever have anticipated. We are very pleased to welcome some of those who have recovered so much that they are able to play for us today as part of the Servants Music Group. Servants means family, I'm sorry if I'm just showing that word, but I'll do my best. Servants means family. All the members are siblings, from the oldest to the youngest. Parnaji plays a tabla, Harpy plays a harmonium and sings. Arminda plays a sitar. Hushram is the main singer and harmonium player. Baljinda and Hushram's husband plays a number of string instruments. Servants performs Shanad Kirtans and solos at various venues. The family's passion and love of enjoying the music and playing and singing has been passed down through the generations from parents to grandparents to grandchildren. Sound and music takes many forms in our lives, informative, creative, emotive. But when music comes from within the soul, it links with our spirituality and becomes a form of meditation. Music and meditation has played a key role in the formation of the group and the healing of the family the accident, both the mind and the body. It can be no coincidence that after waking from the coma, her family members were difficult to recall, yet the songs on the sitar were still remembered. So once, like other families, has faced difficulties in life. However, this cultural music, togetherness, positivity, and many meditation has helped them to be who they are today. Please welcome Savant's musical work.